<laughs> hey folks, this is IO Ether, and we're back with some more World of Tanks. So as you can see, this is Merker. He's in the TS-5. This is a Tier 8 tank destroyer on um, Siegfried's line. I, I don't know why. I almost forgot that. This is an assault game, and this is the first time I've seen this thing this close. Interesting. Um, anyways, so, this should be a very interesting game. Um, Merker hasn't sent me one in a while, so, of course, when I get one from him, I know it's going to be good. As he goes ahead and kills a poor little <laughs> Tier 6 SCRV-74 that was just minding his own business and didn't need him to be a boy, boy at all as he murders a poor T-21. Is this the kind of game we're going to have, Merc? You're just going to go around and mur murder poor innocent little small tanks? Okay, well, I I guess that's just what's going to happen. Um, looks like a fair degree of them are on the other side of the map. Let's hope there are people over here, otherwise this is going to be incredibly boring for the first little while. Uh, seeing a counterpart looks like he wants to go engage except the counterparts on the wrong side of that wall So there's no way he's actually gonna get a shot at it. that one though That one we have a shot at now. Can he hit a weak spot as it turns out the opponent can I Wait for that Kapoor. Can he hit it and he can hit it? Doesn't in fact kill it, but allies do so it goes down. Where did we get hit by the way? Yep, we are glasses there big clean hole so I mean just don't shoot on the front pretty much right our glasses are Kapoor are pretty much the two spots you want to be hitting this thing as this poor T-3485 tries its best to kill us and doesn't do anything <laughs> you know that resembles a lot of the guy in the movies that that's the first time encountering a zombie for the first time and you just feel panic fire as he shoots it everywhere but the head and it never stops coming towards him. Yeah, that's what that was like. Um, we're going to yeah, shout one more time, but we're also going to put a shout into the TS-5. Actually, the E-25 hasn't put effective fire into us yet. Can we reload? Yes, we can reload before he gets his tracks back on, meaning we can just sit here behind cover. And that E-25 is actually going to relocate most likely. Rather than continue trying to shoot us, as we put one last shell into the dry wheel of the opponent and take him out of the game. Now that the E25 hasn't moved, he spent that entire time in the same location, and now he's gonna wing shells off of where? He's not even wing shells off of our weak spots. Good lord, how does somebody get. I guess you could buy an E25 at one point, couldn't you? Okay, well, apparently this one wasn't one of the guys that earned his E25. He apparently bought it because the only way you can be this bad at that tank is if you bought it. And have not played it a whole lot. I don't understand how he, what he thought he was going to do. What he still thinks he's going to do, shooting at the front end of this thing with an E25. Shot into the SU. This is going to be a problem for the SU, but not for us, as it's going to come around here. We're going to pop another shell into it. That's going to be in him, and that takes us right around to finding the Scorpion G looking at, uh, at our back. Scorpion G has its tracks blown off by something, and it's just going to get the rest of his tank blown away by us as we push forward. Five or six kills already, and I have neglected to have the damage total on the board. Oops. Oh well, I guess we'll see how much damage he did when we get into the scoreboard. Oh, oh yeah, just gonna shoot through the grass, part the grass, and just you know nick the top of that AMX. Looks like we're gonna get another shot at him. No, as the Scorpion G takes him out before us, and now the SP1C is going to leave um, in style by colliding with a. <laughs> T-71 for his own death. Yes, I'm still looking over there at where the light is, not right in front of me where the camera is, because it's been too long staring at a light. 
Anyways, um, so yeah, this was a great game, and we're gonna, we're gonna pop over and see what he got for it. But uh, I like this tank. I I'd never play it because I'm horrible at this sort of tank. I need maneuverability and stuff. But uh, this was a great game, and uh, yeah, go go see what he got for it. Mastery Batch Ace or non ace tanker. I said ace tanker yesterday and it was a mistake. It's supposed to be first class, obviously. Uh spotter, bruiser, and fire for effect, shell proof. Twenty eight bonds. Have they increased the amount of bonds they're giving out all of a sudden? Because this feels wrong. Of course, maybe it's based on how much experience you got. Hmm. Cool headed. Steel wall, high caliber and top gun. Well done, sir. Also, 1,500 base experience. 1,500 base experience. Breaking 1,200 base experience is good. Breaking 1,300 is rare. It is fairly remarkable to break 1,500 base experience to the point where I have only seen it maybe 100 times in like eight years of playing World Tanks games. So how he gets a match bridge first class with a 1,541 base experience is staggering. That means there is a ton of amazing players out there playing these things, getting ace tankers and just racking up the experience out there. So if you're getting great games that aren't yielding you ace tankers, that's because they're apparently being used by the top players every game. That would be the reason. So, yeah, just enjoy them. Uh, make the money, hand over fist in them, but don't be surprised that you're not getting ace tankers because apparently you're not going to be getting ace tankers for a while. Uh, when these things die down in popularity in like three or four months, then take it out again for a week. I bet you get an ace tanker pretty good. But till then, just suffer through it and enjoy with your, you know, maybe your second class. If you can get first class, I'd take it. I doubt you're going to get an ace taker. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day this IOE throughout.